Every year, the world throws away more than 1 billion old tires. These tires do not break down easily and often end up in landfills where they take up space and harm the environment. Some are burned, releasing toxic smoke that pollutes the air. But what if we could turn this waste into something useful? That's where extracting oil from scrap tires comes in. This process sounds like a great idea. Old tires are turned into oil which can be used as fuel. But the reality is not so simple. The process is difficult, expensive, and sometimes dangerous. In some places, workers must breathe in harmful fumes while working in unsafe conditions. The machines needed for this process are also very costly, making it hard for many recycling businesses to succeed. Even though this method helps reduce tire waste, there are big questions about how much it really helps the environment. Is this process a real solution? Or are we just creating new problems while trying to solve an old one? Think recycling is always good? Think again. There's more to the story, and if you want the real facts about saving the planet, hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Tires are everywhere, in cars, trucks, bicycles, and even airplanes. But what happens when they wear out? The sad truth is that most old tires don't get recycled properly. Instead, they end up in massive landfills, illegal dumps, or even abandoned in nature, creating serious environmental problems. One of the biggest dangers of waste tires is fire. Unlike regular trash, tires don't just burn out quickly. They can burn for months, releasing toxic smoke, heavy metals, and dangerous chemicals into the air, water, and soil. These tire fires are nearly impossible to put out, and their pollution lingers long after the flames die down. And that's not all. Dump tires create the perfect home for pests. When rainwater collects inside them, they become breeding grounds for mosquitoes, spreading diseases like malaria and dengue fever. In many places, old tires also attract rats and other disease-carrying pests, turning them into a health hazard for entire communities. With millions of tires being discarded every day, finding a way to recycle them is critical. One solution is turning them into fuel oil through a process called pyrolysis. It sounds like a genius idea, taking waste and making energy. But is it really as good as it seems? Pyrolysis is a special way of breaking down materials without burning them. Instead of using fire, it heats old tires in a special chamber with no oxygen. Without oxygen, the tires don't catch fire. Instead, they slowly break down into oil, gas, carbon black, and steel. This process is popular because it turns waste into something useful. The oil can be used as fuel, the gas can power the system itself, the carbon black is used in new tires and plastics, and the steel can be recycled. But while it sounds like a great solution, the process is far from perfect. First, the tires need to be shredded into small pieces. Whole tires are too big and take too long to break down, so machines cut them into chunks. This also removes the steel wires inside, which can be recycled separately. The shredded tire pieces are loaded into a sealed chamber called a pyrolysis reactor. This chamber is then heated up to 280 to 350 degrees Celsius. Since there's no oxygen inside, the tires don't burn, but slowly melt and break apart. As the temperature rises, the rubber turns into a thick gas filled with hydrocarbons. This gas contains oil, but it needs to be cooled down before it can be used. The gas is then sent through a cooling system, where it turns into liquid oil. This tire-derived oil can be used in industrial machines, power plants, or even refined into diesel fuel. After the oil is collected, other materials remain. A black powdery substance called carbon black is left behind, which can be reused in new rubber products. Any remaining steel is separated and sent for recycling. The last byproduct is a flammable gas, which is often used to keep the system running without extra fuel. Extracting oil from old tires might seem like a great way to solve the waste problem, but the environmental and economic impact tells a different story. While it does reduce the number of tires sitting in landfills, the process itself comes with serious risks. One of the biggest concerns is pollution. Even though pyrolysis doesn't burn tires like an open fire, it still releases harmful gases. If the system is not properly sealed, toxic chemicals like benzene and dioxins can escape into the air, causing serious health problems for workers in nearby communities. Some facilities try to filter these emissions, but in many places, regulations are weak and pollution control is poor. Then there's the issue of the oil itself. While it can be used as fuel, it's not the same as regular diesel or gasoline. 
It often needs additional refining before it can be safely used. And that means more energy, more emissions, and more costs. Some companies even sell it as a cheap alternative fuel, but burning it in unregulated engines releases even more toxic fumes, adding to air pollution. On the other hand, there are some economic benefits. The oil, carbon black, and steel recovered from the process can be sold for profit. In theory, this could create jobs and support businesses in the recycling industry. However, running a pyrolysis plant requires high investment costs, expensive equipment, and constant maintenance. If a facility is not well-funded, it can quickly become unsafe, inefficient, and unprofitable. Even the leftover carbon black, which should be useful, is often low quality compared to fresh carbon black used in manufacturing. Many industries don't want to buy it, making it harder for companies to profit from tire recycling. So while pyrolysis does offer a way to repurpose old tires, the reality is far from perfect. It still creates pollution, requires high costs, and doesn't always deliver the clean energy solution that people hope for. What do you think? Is this a brilliant recycling hack or just another fake green solution? While turning old tires into oil sounds like a brilliant recycling idea, the reality is far more complicated. One of the biggest problems is where these plants end up. Instead of being built in high-tech industrial areas, many pyrolysis facilities pop up in low-income neighborhoods where people have little say in what happens around them. These communities often suffer from constant smoke, strong chemical odors, and dangerous air pollution, yet their complaints are ignored. Even for the companies running these plants, making a profit isn't easy. The oil produced from tire pyrolysis isn't the same as regular fuel. It often needs extra refining before it can be used. This means more money has to be spent processing it, which cuts into profits. If companies can't sell the oil at a high enough price, they sometimes resort to illegal dumping of waste materials or low-quality fuel sales, which only adds to environmental problems. And then there's the dirty little secret the leftover waste. While pyrolysis extracts oil, it also leaves behind a thick, toxic sludge that many companies don't know what to do with. In some cases, this waste is dumped in rivers on empty land, or even burned, releasing even more pollution. Instead of solving the waste problem, some pyrolysis plants are just shifting the damage elsewhere. Another challenge is that not all pyrolysis plants are the same. Some use advanced filtering systems to reduce pollution, while others cut corners to save money. In places where environmental laws are weak, these cheap plants operate without proper safety measures, exposing workers and nearby residents to toxic chemicals. Workers in these facilities often lack protective gear, breathing in fumes that can cause serious long-term health issues. So while extracting oil from tires sounds like a great idea, the reality is that many of these plants do more harm than good. Without strict rules, better technology, and a way to safely handle the waste, Pyrolysis could end up being just another environmental disaster in disguise. While pyrolysis has its fair share of problems, scientists and engineers are working on new ways to improve the process. Some companies are developing better filtering systems to trap harmful gases before they reach the air. Others are experimenting with ways to make the oil cleaner and more efficient, so it requires less refining before it can be used. If these innovations succeed, Tire pyrolysis could become a much safer and more sustainable way to deal with waste tires. There are also alternative recycling methods being explored. Some researchers are looking into chemical recycling, which breaks down tires into their raw materials at a molecular level, making it possible to create new, high-quality rubber products instead of just fuel. Others are developing bio-friendly materials that could replace traditional rubber in tires, making future recycling much easier. But until these new technologies become widely available, we're left with a tough choice. Do we continue using pyrolysis despite its pollution risks and high costs? Or do we wait for better solutions while millions of old tires keep piling up? The answer isn't simple, and it depends on how much effort is put into improving and regulating these processes. One thing is clear, though. We can't keep ignoring the problem. If the world doesn't take tire waste seriously, the consequences will only get worse. Whether it's through better pyrolysis, alternative recycling, or completely new innovations, finding a real solution is more important than ever. Is pyrolysis a step forward or just another false solution? Let me know in the comments, and if you care about real solutions for our planet, hit subscribe so you don't miss out.